One of my favorite exotics in Destiny 2 right now is the Path of Burning Steps comboed with an aggressive solar weapon setup. Its primary exotic trait is very simple, getting a solar final blow grants you a stacking damage bonus with solar weapons up to 25%. This damage bonus increases from both ability and weapon kills, and has changed in Season 21 to be the same type that Surge mods grant, meaning you can achieve a higher damage multiplier than 3 Surge mods in your boost without needing to invest your mods in damage. This allows for surging your kinetic weapon slot in addition to your solar weapons, or running utility mods to help round out your build. It also stacks with a Radiant, which is very easy to get and maintain on any solar subclass, but especially Titan. Its secondary exotic effect is to make you more resistant to stasis effects, which is only useful in very niche situations in PvE and PvP. Burning Steps is often considered a lower tier Titan exotic, and that's because the damage bonus comes with a lot of restrictions. You gain a stack on any ability kill, but only have a chance to gain a stack with a weapon kills. This means you either need to use your abilities to gain stacks quickly, or kill a lot of enemies to stack up to times 4 and start seeing a benefit over simply stacking times 3 solar surge in your boots. Once you have the buff fully stacked, you need to gain another stack every 10 seconds or the entire buff disappears completely. Compared to Surge, which grants its benefits instantly and can stack up to 30 seconds by simply getting 3 stacks of armor charge and even longer with mod investment, it starts to become hard to justify. So what do we change? While the secondary effect can be powerful in the right situation, it's not the reason most people are going to be drawn to this exotic. It's better left as a niche bonus and it can be revisited if the effect starts to trivialize content or break PvP. The primary effect is difficult to stack and also very easy to lose and very punishing if you do. Out of these, I would change how punishing or easy it is to lose your stacks. We know that Bungie can modify buff durations in PvP and PvE separately, so buffing only the PvE duration to 15 or 20 seconds seems reasonable given that you lose all of your stacks immediately. I personally like 20 seconds, since it gives the buff the same duration as Roaring Flames, which thematically pairs well with the boots. Secondly, we can change how easily lost your stacks are. Rather than falling off all four stacks at once, the buff can depreciate one stack at a time every 10 seconds. Instead of going instantly to time zero, you would have 20 seconds to gain another stack before the buff is less effective than surge times three. It would also make it easier to maintain higher stacks over time, as instead of needing to go from zero to four stacks, you would only need to go from three to four if you go any 10 seconds without resetting the duration. Out of these options, I definitely like the depreciating buff more. It can be implemented in PvE and PvP without causing large balance issues, since the damage buff on the boots has already been normalized to match surge mods and caps at 6% in PvP. It would suit Solar Titan's snowball playstyle in most content, building up powerful buffs and extending them with solar kills, much like Ember of Empyrean. What do you think? How would you change Path of Burning Steps to be more represented in the PvE meta? Personally, I'm hoping to see some positive changes on the next balance pass in Season 22.